All right, Tutor Vision friends, I'm going to introduce you to the new application. If you've downloaded it already, great. If not, I have another video showing you exactly how to do that. But right now in this video, we're just going to be talking about what this new app is like, sort of showing you just the ins and outs to it so you don't have to get too familiar with it by yourself. This is sort of just to speed things along. It's pretty intuitive. Uh, it's nothing like the old application though, so I want to get you a little more familiar with it and a little bit more at ease with some of the things that I already know about it, even though I'm still learning. The app is still changing. It's going to go through updates. We're probably going to have to re-download things, go through the update. Kind of bear with me as we do this. All we're doing is perfecting the user experience. It's going to get better over time. It's going to bear with us through this process. All right. So again, Project MP, this is what the new application looks like. Keep that in mind that if you don't have this, if it doesn't look like this, then that's a problem. You have the old live TV application right there where it says live TV at the top and it looks like the silhouette of the guy walking through a bunch of TV screens, that's old, you gotta get rid of it, it's gone, all right? You should still have, if that's something you're interested in, things like Cinema HD, Cyberflix, Kodi, all these other different applications that are gonna have your TV on demand uh, and movie on demand for things that have already come out and aired, all right? Those are really good resources for those, and I like Cyberflix a lot too, uh, but our service is really just geared around your live TV. All right, it's really great for sports and really great to, we're watching things that are happening live, okay? All the rest of your stuff, you're gonna have a bunch of uh, programs and a big library and all these other free applications. But let's talk about Project MP, which is what you're paying for, okay? So you first go into the system, you gotta log in, you have entered your username and password, it auto saves, which is great. So I'm gonna go to my profile right here. Now this is the home screen. Now the home screen is going to change over time. It's going to evolve. And like I said, as these updates happen, you're going to see different stuff here. But for now, for the time being, you can see that it's showing some of the stuff that I've already viewed. We're going to talk, though, about the messages area and message center. There's nothing really of any consequence in there right now, but there will be again over time. These are things that you're going to start seeing uh, messages from me. We'll go into systems here. You can set the child lock. So if there's certain programs you don't want somebody else to see where you have to type in a password. Change the language if it's something you want to do. AM, PM versus a 24-hour cycle. So you can see it went from AM, PM to 24. I like the AM, PM. Support. Don't worry about the support in here. Just contact me directly. Video quality. This is important for anybody who doesn't have unlimited uh, internet or if for some reason you have very poor internet quality over a period of time. You can go from high definition to low. It's sort of the difference between HD and SD, the standard definition that we used to have on the old television. So if if it's a little laggy and, and you're trying to watch something that you know doesn't doesn't quite have the speed that you think it should, we'll go to low quality and see if that works any better for you. But I'm gonna go back to high quality. Uh, I'm on my device, this is running on a Fire Stick. I'm getting about 40 megabytes a second here at this device. I'm pumping about 100 from my uh, actual router, which is about 70 or so feet away between, uh, there's, a, there's one wall between us and there. And so I lose that much from my uh, router to my device. Devices just talks about what devices I've logged into the system with. An update app, it's already up to date, so it's not a problem. And I know I'm going through some of this pretty quickly, but that's just because I don't want this video to last too long. All right, so search, pretty simple. Uh, you can search for whatever you want. You can search for uh, NFL. And you can see in the background all the NFL options right there. Pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. HBO, Cinemax, whatever. Search for whatever you want, it's gonna pop up. Channels. This is one way to view all the options that you have available to you. Let me turn this down a little bit. So what's happening here is when you highlight over, over something, it's going to then show you the preview here and it's gonna have the volume to that also. Okay, so if I go over to NFL Network, for example, again, this is live TV, this is HD quality right here. I'm just gonna take my remote, because I like this channel, and I'm gonna press up. It's gonna bring up a bunch of options here. Channels, full guide, mini guide, favorites. You know, so this is gonna tell you the different options you have. You can change channel, you can go to full guide, which is gonna tell you more about the program. Mini guide is just a little synopsis. Favorites, I'm gonna add this to my favorites list, okay? Uh, quad view, you wanna watch four programs at one time? Great, no problem, quad view, especially all you sports lovers. Uh, quad view is really cool play around with it I might do a video just for that it's gonna take a little bit too much time for this video settings again you can go in here set the screen size enable child lock 
uh, support again, I'd rather you reach out to me directly, uh, and then close, okay? So now that I'm in here, in this, I can just press to the right, and the next thing over, it went from 24 to 25 over here, it's just ABC, I press to the right again. You know, this is, again, live football right here. This is 65 inch TV, so you can see that if it was uh, a small TV, like a 22 inch, 24 inch TV or something like that, it would hide any blemishes. If you have a rel relatively small screen, like, a, like a, a tablet or something like that, the quality, even if it's low quality SD, actually comes in really well. But once you start using it on a 65 uh, or above inch television, well then, if it were poor quality, it would be a problem and you notice it really quickly. Luckily for us, we've got a pretty good program here and this is what we're providing. So we'll go over here to Fox, another football game. So you can see there's really no loss in quality right there and how quickly it changes. So this app is much better than our old one as far as how quickly the channel loads and what the quality of this is. So play with it, get a little familiar with it. We're gonna go back and I'm gonna show you the other way to stream here. So TV Guide, a lot of people ask about TV Guide. Uh, it's pretty simple, self-explanatory, very, very similar to something like, like these other uh, cable providers or satellite providers. So you can just flip through it like this and it'll load the program just like it was before. You get your little uh, preview of the channel right here in the corner. If you were to click on it, it's gonna enlarge and you get to see the whole thing. So again, loads quick, quality's great. If you have any poor quality, you can switch to low quality on the video. It's gonna make it run a little bit more smoothly. But that's about it. That's that's the, the real rundown of everything here, guys. Uh, television, it just starts at channel one and you can press to the right and go and go and go. I'm gonna go back again. You can log out. I wouldn't suggest that. I would just close it down. But if you go up to the top and hit favorites, so NFL Network is my only favorite on here right now, but if I had more favorites, Let's say I had five favorites. I could just press to the right, and it or whatever it would or left. It could it would flip through just my favorites, right? So you don't have to go through a lot of videos and a lot or a lot of different channels. Uh, you can just save things to your favorites that you want to keep there, so you are going through a limited selection. So, again, flip through this, find out the channels that you want, add them to your favorites. It's it's got everything else. Some of these channels are being uploaded as we go, so some of them aren't working just yet, but they will over the next week or two. But you have to get off the old app onto this application, and you can see again how the quality looks phenomenal, the speed in which the channel initializes, and there's no loss. It's, it's a really great program, so I'm really happy to be able to provide it. Well, thank you again very much. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you find any, you know, uh, issues with it whatsoever, or if there's some tricks or something like that you want to tell me, please do. Let me know. Throw it up on the Facebook page. Let the other users know, too. I uh, want to get this community going a little bit more so we can share things. You know, this this is a um, relatively low-cost way to uh, watch our content here, so I want to make sure everybody understands that we are a community. Uh, there are issues. There are sometimes when a server goes down, it's internet-based, so if your internet goes down or if our internet goes down, you know, but, but again, that's that low cost that's coming through in that. I want you guys to reach out to me with any problems whatsoever. I hope to be a resource to you. And thank you again very much. Thank you for using T-Division.